Hey guys, Iceman here. So, in this video, we're going to check out some pictures that I found on Twitter. So, Twitter's a good place to go to search up Godzilla photos. It seems like folks are posting them throughout the day. And today being Halloween, I was hoping to find some Halloween-oriented pictures and maybe some costumes even. But here's the first one that I found. And although this might not be very Halloween-ish, there might be some pumpkins and shit in the background. I don't know. But, yeah, it was one of the recent searches on Twitter. And nonetheless, it's a cool piece of art with some old-school Godzilla imagery there. And this game playing right here is the Daikaiju Battle Royal game. Uh, you can play it on a web browser for free. And I have this match set up with Godzilla fighting Kong. So, to kind of, you know... Help us anticipate what's to come in the Godzilla vs. Kong film. But okay, check this out. Here's another one. This one is of Ghidorah. And this is Halloween oriented. And it seems like these, I believe, are from the Tokyo Godzilla store. Which sells a bunch of Godzilla merchandise and so forth. And I think that they decorated it this year. Uh, with this Halloween theme. So I don't know how long this is going on for, or it's just for today. But nonetheless, it's Ghidorah with, uh, with a little costume thing going on. It has a spider on the wing and some black webbing in the background. A really nice looking toy of Ghidorah, actually. That might be an SH Monster Arts. I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys have any idea uh, what brand of toy that is. And then we have Godzilla. And I believe this is the... No, maybe this isn't the original Godzilla. It's the it's the series after that, after the 1954 film, I think. And Godzilla's all witched out with a little jack-o'-lantern next to him. And here's another one with him decorated with a little grave, rest in peace, unknown. What does that say? I should say, like, unknown kaiju, but, or titan, but I don't think it does. But yeah, that's... It's a cool decoration right there with this little witch hat. And yeah, this this store looks looks toad. I wish I could go check that out. And here I think is Hidora or Oh shit. Is this Hidora or is it Orga? I think it's I think it's Hidora, right? The smog monster or something? Yeah, yeah. L let me know if I'm correct on that, but just kind of sporting a little bat mask. And this is one of my favorites that I found today. It's it's um, it's a nice piece of art. It looks like it's from a comic book. If you want to join in on Halloween, you'll need to build a costume. Do you want to help build? Yes. Ha ha ha. Greetings. Please supply a treat or we will have a trick. We'll have to trick you as tradition. <clears throat> yeah, so I, I don't know if this is from a comic book or what. But the Mothra costume is just very vibrant. Why do these guys look all fucked up? They look kind of like Ultiman. Or one of those other, um, I don't know. They look like characters from some some anime stuff I, that I've seen before. I'm not sure what it is, but don't they? All right, we'll battle this one more time. But yeah, yeah. And here is this really popular Godzilla costume. And I'm wondering if if you guys will be seeing any of these today. Let me know if you're going to go trick-or-treating or if you're just going to be hanging out with your homies or what are you going to do for Halloween? Um, where I'm at, the weather's kind of bad. It's raining out, so I'm pretty sure the little ducks aren't going to go trick-or-treating so much today, but uh, maybe they'll still find a way, but I don't think it's going to be very popular tonight, unfortunately. And here's just another showcase of the Godzilla store. With, uh, with all these decorated kaiju. We have Gigan all mummified there. That's a pretty cool uh, costume. Then we have Godzilla as Little Red Riding Hood or something. And then we have Godzilla in a, in a dressed as a ghost. Ugh. And this is just some photo that I found on Twitter. I just liked the colors on this and all that. And I think it's kind of Halloween themed. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it has the spider web in the background. But we have a bunch of ramen noodle. Shin ramen? What the hell? 
I have ramen noodles once in a while. Put an egg in there and some other goodies. You can make them really tasty. Uh, they're probably not the most nutritious meal, but uh, you can put a bunch of stuff in there and make it taste pretty yuppy, you know? But he also has a Nintendo controller. I know there are a few NES Godzilla games. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to display some of those on my channel soon. I have played several times the Nintendo GameCube Godzilla along with the Nintendo Wii Godzilla game. Uh, so maybe more videos like that to come in the future. But here we are also with a Shin Godzilla uh, video, and I really haven't seen that yet. As much as it pains for me to say it. And I know that that is uh, generally accepted to be a good Godzilla film. So let me know what you guys think about Shin Godzilla, and if you've seen it. And um, what are you anticipating for Godzilla vs. Kong? Oh, this, this Kong I think actually did receive... Did he just receive, like, lightning struck him? Yeah, his, his, his hands are, are imbued with, with electricity. And that's what happens in the film from the old days. So, I have it right here. Yeah, in this film, which I think is the original one, pretty sure, uh, Kong is actually imbued with uh, the storm systems around him where he can punch Godzilla and zap him. So I think that's going to be the only way he's going to defeat Godzilla or even pose a threat to him in the upcoming Godzilla vs. Kong film. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that because I just don't know how he'll stand a chance otherwise. It's known that he's going to grow, but is he going to be this close in terms of height to Godzilla? That's kind of what I'm expecting, but if this is going to be the case, he's going to have a long ways to grow because... In Skull Island, he came up to about Godzilla's knee or so, if we were to compare the two. But yeah, it seems like Kong doesn't stand a chance against him, unless if he receives some unknown power, or some power that we haven't seen him use yet in the Skull Island film. So let me know what you guys think about that, and like the video if you will, subscribe to the page, more videos to come.